This is chapter five. I'm um, chapter eight, part five. Chapter eight, part five. I get into what's calling what's called parallel arrays. Parallel arrays run side by side. Two or more arrays are called parallel array if their corresponding components hold related information. Hold related information. That's the key thing. So if you look at an int as a size 50 for student ID and a char for course grade for size 50, these are parallel with this. Okay, here's an example. Student ID, this student has a grade of this letter and so on. So they're parallel arrays with this thing. If we have time, uh, I will uh, do a problem with you for you to see. I also mentioned to you what a typical two-dimensional array or in a multi-dimensional array. A two-dimensional array collection is a fixed number of components of the same type of arrangement in two-dimensional. Sometimes called a matrix or a table. And this is how you actually declare it. You have a data type and you have an array name and you can put both of them side by side. The first square brackets that you're going to see that represent is the row. The second one represents as the column. So int expression 1 and int expression 2 are expression with positive integer specifying the number of row and column. Remember now, this is you're going to be your row, the second one closest, the one next to the semicolon, that's going to be your column. So that's by definition with this thing. So if I look at this, for example, where expression 1 and expression 2 are expression of positive integer and specify the row. So if I look at this, this is what? This is in row 5, column 3, and I would have this value assigned inside of that. So let's see if I can actually pull up a picture of that here. Again, be careful. This is element is starts out 0, 0, and here is 5, 3. Okay? 5, 3. Don't confuse this with this, as this first square should be what? 0, 0. Is equivalent to 1A, or A1 in this case. All right, so this is zero zero. Row is zero. All this entire row is zero. Remember that zero one, zero two, zero three, and so on. This is column one. So this is what one zero one one one. Okay, this will come down as what? I'm sorry. This is zero. This this will be zero zero. This will become one zero. 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, so on. Okay? That's same as the row over here. This would be what? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, so on. I'm using a, an Excel spreadsheet to, to depict a, a, the, the graphics. It's easier with that. So please be aware of this is that if you look at this, you know, even though it says 5, 3, this is the 5, okay, and this is the 3, okay, so a two-dimensional array can be initialized when they are declared, all right, so uh, when you declare something such as a two-dimensional array, all rows are enclosed by within the braces for a number of rays unspecified the elements are set to zero. Please make a note of this, okay. Two-dimensional arrays Enumeration can be used for an array with this thing. So if you look at, here's a constant. Number of rows is 6. Number of columns is 5. Here's an enum of GM. All of this is the card type. All of this is the color type. So if I pass in, in stock, I can have number of rows. That, what is this? Number of rows is going to be my row. And number of columns would be this. So I would have 6 row five column. And if I went and if I put in fifteen is equal to four is what? Four it is one. White is what? One zero one two three. So one three. Row one column three. Put fifteen in that. Okay, see how that works? So how do you process an array? This is this is very, very important. Two ways ways to process an array. You can process the entire array. You process the row processing, processing a single row at a time. You process the column processing, processing a single column at a time. 
each row and columns of a two dimensional array is a one dimensional array. Each row of a and each each row in each column of a two dimensional array is actually a one dimensional array. To process, you're actually looking at it as what? Using algorithm similar to processing a one dimensional array. You're actually reading a row from left to right, left to right with this thing. With it. So here's how you initialize. What does it mean to initialize? You're writing to it. You know, right? To initialize a row four, this is row four, remember now, it's actually the fifth row, to zero. So you start with row four, and you're going to initialize it to zero. Zero less than the number of columns that you have, wherever that constant one may be, with it. And you're going to actually increment that. So you're going to put in initializing zero all the way to the fifth row with this thing. So row four is initial is declare here and you can see how the row comes across with this thing. So it's going to be four zero and so on. Everything's going to be equal to the column with this thing. Okay? To initialize the entire matrices of this thing. The entire matrix of this thing. Alright, hold on, I got it. Let me pause this.